neglected uh, adrenal angiopathic scoliosis and uh, revision surgery. And uh, a pa uh, patient with neglected adrenal angiopathic scoliosis is most often present with severe clinical and radi radiographic deformity with poor pulmonary function. And the uh, problem with neglected scoliosis uh, are serious deformity at both coronal and sagittal plane, chest wall deformity, poor pulmonary function. A severe spine deformity involves spine and chest wall deformity, which both need to be addressed at the surgery in neglected adolescent idiopathic scoliosis. Adequate uh, clinical and neurological assessment, uh, radiologic study, decision making on type surgery, adequate fixation, correction of the sagittal and frontal plane deformity are essential in neglected adolescent uh, idiopathic scoliosis treatment. And the uh, assessment by a pulmonologist is critical for this patient to fully understand the pulmonary function. The management of severe cure can potentially carry significant risk with respect to neurologic deficit, significant blood loss, pulmonary complications. Uh, there are severe uh, surgical options. Those are posterior instrumentation, combined anterior posterior, preoperative hollow gravity uh, traction, intraoperative hollow pulmonary traction, pedicle subtraction osteotomy, and vertebral colon resection. And uh, in our experience, traction X-ray under general anesthesia is the best modality in determination of flexibility of severe curves. Uh, if the curve uh, magnitude in traction X-ray under general anesthesia is less than 50 to 55 degree and flexibility of curve is more than 50 percent, we perform posterior only surgery. This is uh, our first, ca first case uh, 12 years ago is uh, she, she had a uh, severe respiratory problem. Uh, according to traditional uh, uh, approach, uh, anterior release, anterior discectomy was required in this case. And uh, now is uh, uh, he was first case in whom we used traction X-ray under general anesthesia. Traction X-ray under general anesthesia show us is uh, more flexibility and we perform just posterior surgery without any uh, osteotomy. If the curve magnet in traction X-ray under general anesthesia more than 50 to 55 degree and curve flexibility is uh, 30 to 50 percent, we perform posterior surgery with intraoperative halofemoral traction. We start to use intraoperative halofemoral traction uh, in the neglected adult endiopathic scoliosis in the 1999. And uh, uh, you should rule out cervical instability. In our technique, uh, intraoperative fallot femoral traction is first done and increase the weight gradually. Under the traction, uh, release uh, of supraspinous, interspinous ligaments and ligamentum flavum, and then uh, wide facet resection are performed. And finally, pedicle cycle stabilization and correction. Uh, are done. And uh, advantages of intraoperative phallofemoral traction uh, are gradual uh, weight increase under sp spinal monitorization, providing gradual relax relaxation and correction, no need for excessive correction maneuver with rot. And a uh, 14-year-old femur patient, very severe uh, thoracic curve, and uh, uh, f uh, traction stay under general anesthesia show as 30 one percent flexibility and uh, we perform uh, 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 posterior surgery uh, with uh, halofemoral uh, traction and uh, we can obtain we, we obtain 51 percent uh, correction the other case very severe uh, thoracic curve uh, and uh, you can see traction under general anesthesia uh, 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 posterior surgery with uh, hollow uh, femoral uh, intraoperative hollow femoral traction uh, was done in this case pre and post op clinical picture the other uh, case is same technique used in this case in the, uh, we opt we achieve a really good coronal and sagittal uh, correction uh, in the severe curve in the clinical and uh, uh, preoperative and posterior uh, postoperative picture in 
if the curve flexibility less than 30%, uh, percent, if there are severe kyphoscoliosis, lordoscoliosis, we perform asymmetrical pedicle subtraction, osteotomy, or vertebral colon resection. Uh, you can see uh, very severe thoracal lumbar junction kyphoscoliosis and uh, you now pedicle subtraction osteotomy was done in this case and at the second stage we perform anterior uh, support uh, due to severe osteoporosis. Now uh, the other case, uh, 14 year old very severe thoracic uh, Kyphoscoliosis, uh, vertebral, posterior vertebral colon resection was done 11 years ago. Now is the other case, very severe thoracic and lumbar curve, and the uh, PVCR was done at the T9 level, uh, just in the thoracic uh, area. And you can see post pre and post operative X ray, and uh, he had four previous surgery. Uh, now is very severe. Uh, thoracic uh, scoliosis, PVCR was done in this case in pre and post-op clinical picture. And a uh, very uh, difficult case, uh, thoracic uh, lordo scoliosis, uh, PVCR was done in this case. You can see pre and post-op dimensional reconstruction. We achieve very good such alignment and uh, clinical picture. And uh, due to presence of pulmonary complication in severe neglected idiopathic scoliosis, recent trend in surgical treatment is towards posterior methods without thoracotomy, like posterior surgery with intraoperative halofemoral or preoperative halogravity traction, uh, and uh, posterior surgery with osteotomy, like uh, pedicle subtraction uh, or PCR, uh, PVCR. Traction X-ray under general anesthesia is the most valuable method in decision making. In the suggest, uh, suggestful outcome after surgical treatment for severe deformity is a life-changing event, uh, event with improvement on the thoracic height, pulmonary function, and significant effect on the cosmosis and self-image. And the uh, overall revision rate after spinal fusion in adolescent idiopathic scoliosis 4 to 25 percent. Now. Intraoperative causes of revision surgery, pedicle fracture, drug lesion, vascular complication, neurologic complication. Uh, Postoperative causes of revision surgery, secure malposition, rate uh, uh, more than 50% with C CT study. As uh, po uh, infection is and uh, 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 can be divided. Uh, 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 acute and late infection. Uh, acu uh, treatment of acute infection include debridement irrigation, IV antibiotics, and uh, if uh, th there is recurrence, uh, uh, removal of implant and re replacement of implant with titanium if needed. Uh, the, the most common bacterial, uh, uh, the most common bacterial causes in skin flora like uh, Staphylococcus epidermis in delay infection and uh, treatment of the delay infection uh, include debridement, irrigation, IV antibiotics, remove all implant if there is recurrence. Uh, today, the duration of antibiotic treatment is controversial in the delay infection. Uh, this is a, a complication uh, case. Is a, we, we, we have performed anterior surgery, selective thoracic fusion in this case. Uh, now, uh, is case uh, one level pseudoarthrosis and uh, we did just posterior one level fixation and uh, auto, uh, graft uh, augmentation. The other case, uh, s a simple, uh, we, we, we have performed cop to cop uh, fusion in the Lenka type 5 curve. One year later, uh, we saw uh, uh, lower instrumented uh, sick through uh, is uh, losing and uh, uh, one level uh, uh, pseudoarthrosis and uh, uh, changing screw and uh, uh, graft augmentation uh, was done in this case. And uh, uh, this complex pseudoarthrosis, as you can see, posterior and anterior, very complex pseudoarthrosis cases. We, we did uh, uh, anterior and posterior combined surgery in this case. And uh, the other case uh, is uh, acute infection uh, uh, 
and the resistant and recurrence infection and uh, uh, complex pseudarthritis coexisting with deep and persistent infection. We remove all implant and then is uh, we, we have performed anterior surgery due to three level pseudarthrosis. Uh, Post-surgical iatrogenic lung kyphosocoriosis. Uh, she had uh, four previous surgeries at another center. Uh, now, uh, first uh, uh, stage pedicle subtraction osteotomy was performed at the T7. Second stage, the other pedicle subtraction osteotomy at the two L2 level, uh, 10 days uh, uh, after the first one is uh, the uh, late neurological deficit uh, due to metallosis as uh, you can see metal around uh, metallosis around the first generation three dimensional uh, uh, implant and uh, the screw mark position is uh, very important now is uh, she had a partial neurological deficit and uh, remove and change uh, uh, screw uh, and then is a uh, recovery neurological deficit. And the other case is, uh, uh, and, uh, is a wrong selection uh, of fusion level is shoulder imbalance and uh, trunk shift of the body. And uh, you can see uh, revision uh, and uh, vertebral body is coronal sagittal balance. And poor outcome can be seen in poor, uh, poor patient selection for initial surgery, wrong initial diagnosis, wrong or inadequate surgical procedure, technical errors and complications. And uh, uh, adequate clinical and radiologic assessment, decision making of definitive surgical procedure, adequate fixation, presence of various modular instrumentation system and excellent quality spinal imaging in operating room, restoration and maintenance of such alignment uh, are important in revision surgery. We would like to see you in Istanbul for IMS meeting next year. Thank you very much. Thank you, Osmi. We have just a few minutes left for the re remainder of this session. If anybody has any questions for the speakers, please move to the microphones. Anybody have any burning questions? Yes, sir. 